This is the uh, crankshaft from a 500 Royal Enfield Indian bullet engine that I've just uh, finished stripping down and uh, it will become ASBO number 46. Uh, I've got the crankshaft here supported between centres on a lathe with the um, dial gauges on the main shafts. Both of them reading in thousandths of an inch and both of them set to zero at the moment. And I'm just going to spin it and demonstrate what we've got. Now this couldn't have been a Friday afternoon crank. As I've got to say, that this is the best one I've ever seen come out of an Indian bullet. And well, I've probably not seen one come out of a Redditch bullet any better than that. Uh, this could actually be unique. Uh, it's running so true, there's barely a twitch of the needles on the dials at all. Um, and to all intents and purposes, that has got zero run out at those points on the main shafts where I've got the dial gauges set up. Interestingly, this crank has obviously, the engine's obviously been sat with some condensation or damping it. See, so notice the uh, dark patch on the uh, flywheel rims there where it's sat in water or water and oil and got a little bit of a uh, rusty look to it. That's nothing terminal, that'll be okay and it'll all clean up. And um, well, my next job will be splitting the, splitting these flywheels and get on with lightening them and rebalancing them. But um, that is going to be a tough act to follow that on the true in front. I'll have to see if I can get near that. I'd love to be able to match it, which is uh, very, very unlikely I'll get that close, but I'll do my best. That is amazing. This crankshaft should be uh, put in a glass case or framed because I've never seen one come out like that. Right, I've got here that um, crankshaft for the Royal Enfield 500 bullet that will be known as ASBO number 46 and I've already um, filmed a before video of this crankshaft before I dismantled it and it was one of the rare exceptions where to all intents and purposes there was absolutely no run out at all there wasn't even there was barely a twitch on either of the needles never mind a thou or two or whatever and i commented that it might be a tough act to follow but i'd do my best and uh well i have i've lightened and rebalanced the flywheels and i've uh, polished the conrod and i fitted a new crank pin and a new floating bush the hard eye in the conrod was perfect and so it's all gone back together and um, I've been, well, truing it. Actually, I did this one by eye. I haven't even bumped the flywheels on a block of wood or anything. Um, I thought that uh, as I pressed them together that perhaps they'd uh, wander off a little bit. But uh, they're fully home with both nuts fitted and both of them are tight. All I've got to do is put the locking, uh, the little grub screws in to lock the nuts. Um, but they're tight, this is it, all done. And uh, here's my gauges, reading thousandths of an inch. We've got 0 to 10 thousandths of an inch on the scale of that one. And we've got 0 to 5 thousandths of an inch on this one. And I'm going to spin the flywheels now. And no tricks, but to my amazement, I've actually got perhaps half a thousandth of an inch showing on that one and well maybe one thousandth of an inch at the very most on that one rising and falling or if you prefer twitching at the same time barely any movement at all but uh, that one thou or so half a thou they going up and down together at the same point of rotation so uh, one cancels the other out so once again this crank has got no run out to speak of which I'm made up with um, and the fact that I haven't even bumped the flywheels or had to try and adjust them is just amazing uh, you, you just well 
I would say it's a once in a lifetime thing, except that it has happened to me once before. Um, so I'll certainly not be expecting it again. Um, but I'm very, very happy with this one. This is ready to go in the engine. So uh, next job will be uh, clean the crankcases up, fit the new main bearings and put this crankshaft inside. And uh, we'll have the bottom end of Asbro number 46 all done and ready to go. And there's about one and a half kilograms, I would say, has come off the overall weight of these flywheels. I haven't weighed the assembly again uh, since putting it together. I weighed it before and I've weighed the flywheels individually after machining them. And I know that I got about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 kilograms off in total. Um, uh, sorry, on each flywheel, 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 kilograms on each flywheel. So uh, around about one and a half kilograms gone in total. So that should liven things up a little bit, I would think. There we are, Asbro 46, the heart of the engine, ready to go.